Well, at about 1 p.m. local time, Philippe Close, that's the mayor of the city of Brussels, will officially inaugurate the Joe Cox Square in the city centre of Brussels, in a little square just behind Ancien Belgique, which is a popular concert venue in the city centre where she used to frequent when she lived here in Brussels. Now, he'll be joined by her parents and her sister, Kim. Uh, they'll give a couple of speeches and then we'll hear some songs from Susie Summer. That's a friend of hers. She'll play some music from the Balkans, a region that the late Joe Cox loved and also uh, music from Africa to show uh, the work that Joe Cox did for Oxfam and also her fight for uh, social injustice. Now, it was back in 2014 when the city of Brussels decided to start naming more streets and public places after empowering and inspiring women because in Brussels it's mostly male names on streets or as their daughters uh, or their wives. So this of course is a way to do so and also to reach out to Joe Cox and her family because Joe Cox was a woman who loved Brussels, uh, loved uh, Europe, and uh, was a real fighter of social justice. Now let's take a little listen to Philippe Close. He spoke to Europe News just yesterday about this new square that he will inaugurate later today. You know, Brussels is the capital of Europe, the capital of 500 million European citizens. And we know the, the fight of Joe Cox for Europe and for the refugee in Europe. And uh, what, we, what it happens with the murder of Joe Cox was terrible and we want to honour his memory, our memories. Uh, now, Maeve, Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of uh, Joe Cox's former party, is also going to be attending the ceremony later today and he's going to take the opportunity to keep another appointment in Brussels. Tell us more about that. Absolutely. His first priority, of course, will be there to be with the family of Joe Cox and remember her. But then at 4 p.m. this afternoon, he'll be coming here to the European Commission to meet Michel Bernier, Brexit uh, coordinator. After the conference over in Liverpool, he's full of um, gusto and full of momentum. He wants to make it clear that no Brexit would be a disaster. Um, Michel Bernier will have a meeting with him, but it's likely Michel Bernier will tell him his door is always open. But of course, his interlocutors are for the moment the government of Theresa May.